so for Xbox 360, we brought all the downloadable content that we've had out on the PC and PlayStation 3. In addition to that, we have five new maps, three of which are completely new original ones, and two are re-envisionings of two of the favorite maps to have, so you can play Axon against Necris, and they have kind of a Necris theme to them. We have two new characters, and our big, our big showpiece, obviously, is split screen, and it's quite robust. You can play split screen in uh, online multiplayer, like in a player match. You can play it in co-op, and you can play it uh, local, and you can also play it in system link. So it works pretty much pervasively across. The only thing you can't do is you can't play it in a ranked match, because obviously you can cheat that way. Well, PlayStation 3 fans have user-creative mods, and they're doing quite well with them. A lot of, I'm surprised how many mod makers have, uh, have uh, cooked their mods for the PlayStation 3 format. There's really some great stuff out there. So I think that's pretty exciting, and we're gonna hopefully find some new little tricks there on the PlayStation 3 as well. So I don't think that, uh, I think everybody's got, every version of Unreal Tournament 3 has something, and I think all the, all the customers should be pretty excited about it. We don't know, we're still working with Microsoft to figure that out. If we don't have it when we ship, maybe we have as an upgrade later, or you know, maybe we just have to go and manually take some of the best mods and bring them over to, to Xbox Live through DLC. We don't know yet. We're, we're, we're cautiously optimistic we'll figure something out with Microsoft based on conversations we've been having in the last week or two, and we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't think we'll have them in the box. I mean, I don't think that's, we're gonna have that same functionality out of the box because it's, you know, it's coming up pretty soon. We don't really know what the solution to piracy is. I mean, it would really suck if all the games we made had to be MMOs because that's the only way you can make money on games, or every game you played on the PC had to have a subscription element or had to be tethered to a server, but, you know, who knows if that's what we're gonna have to do. I mean, it really is a legitimate problem. We joined the PC Gaming Alliance, and that's something that they're looking into. It's one of the big issues is trying to figure out, well, what can we do to, to try to prevent piracy? It really is a significant problem. Obviously, it cuts into your sales quite a bit. You now, Valve's done a good job with their Steamworks stuff, and we're starting to use that now. Obviously, we've shipped Unreal Tournament 3 on Steam, and it's actually been very successful. And so we're pretty excited about that. But, I mean, that doesn't obviously doesn't prevent piracy. Uh, yeah, you're always surprised. I mean, when it does, when you have a game that does, I mean, any game. I mean, you know, it's funny, you talk about Unreal Tournament, and people are, people ex expect uh, every game does five million units now. I don't, I don't get that, but I mean, like, you, you're surprised when it sells anything. I mean, you, you know, you're always happy about that. You, it's really up to the fans to decide how popular a game is going to be. It's not, we do our best, we make a game that we love to play, and hopefully the fans like to play it too. So. No, I don't think anybody could have predicted how great Gears of War did. You don't, you try not to build crazy expectations like that. So that's pretty cool. And Unreal Tournament's done really well over the years too. And so every time we do one and we hit that magical million mark, it's, it's, it is magic. I mean, that's, that's great. So yeah, Gears was a great surprise. And uh, I think, you know, we worked really hard at it and the next one's an even better game.